Hello, my name's Katie and this workshop is for the Edinburgh International Book Festival. Um, I am an illustrator. I studied at Edinburgh College of Art and I was born in Edinburgh, but I live and work from Berwick-upon-Tweed now. Um, I do most of my work online, especially this year, and I co-founded the Good Ship Illustration with two of my illustrator friends, Helen and Tanya, so we teach workshops for illustrators. Uh, but this workshop today is not just for illustrators, it's for anybody. Um, and yeah, I just want you to know that you don't have to be an artist. I'm using air quotes because who calls you an artist or not? You don't have to be an artist to do this workshop, it's for anybody. And we're going to be talking about creating a picture diary. This is something that I started doing when I was about, I think I was about 13 and my... A family member bought me a little kind of sketchbook notebook thing and I wanted to think of a nice way to use it every single day. Um, and I'd never been able to get into the habit of writing every day because, you know, it's kind of boring. It's long-winded, your hand gets sore. Um, so I started making a drawing a day, like, to describe what I'd been doing. And it was so valuable to look back on and keep a record of my life at that time from like 13, I think I, I kept it until I was about 15 or 16. So it was a good three years. I had a big stack of these diaries. I don't know where they are now. They'll be probably in my mum's attic. Um, but I wanted to talk you through how you could start your very own picture diary. It's something you could do with the whole family. There's no like age limit. Even toddlers could do like a scribble a day. How cute would that be? Um, so yeah, you will need something to draw with and something to draw on. It does not have to be fancy. And if the idea of drawing in a book freaks you out, like in a sketchbook or something, if that feels too fancy, you could totally use printer paper and just like staple it together or something. So this is totally accessible to everybody. As long as you have something to write with and I'll find some paper to write on um, and we can get started. Oh, also, I forgot to say, um, if you want to be my internet friend, if you want to find me online, I'm at Katie Draws on Instagram and Twitter, and my website is www.katiechapel.com. Okay, now we've got that out of the way, let's actually get on with the workshop. Okay, so this is the part of the workshop where we're actually going to do something. So I've just got my dotted notebook. It doesn't have to be dotted. This just happens to be what I had lying around. And I've just got an inky pen. It's nothing special. Again, it's just what I had lying around. You could use a biro, a pencil. It does not matter. I've also I've chosen this pen because it shows up nicely on the camera um, and I wanted you to be able to see what we're doing. So um, let's write a title. Keeping a picture diary. So the first thing we're going to start with is getting rid of the idea that it has to be perfect, it has to look like a work of art. You can just draw exactly, it's just for you is what I want to say. So a lot of the time back when I was a like a 13 year old keeping a diary like this, I kind of invented my own icons for things. Um, so something that I used to like to keep track of was like what my meals were. So I'd sort of there's a really rough bowl and then it might be that I'd had, I don't know, Rice Krispies or something. I can't exactly remember what what baby me, 13 year old me was eating. Um, but it's just a really quick way to jot down stuff that you want to remember. Um, I used to do things like I would draw my radio alarm clock and the time that I'd woken up. And again, that was just a nice, like a repeating theme. So each day this would be there. And I could look back on it and be like, oh yeah, I woke up at eight o'clock that day. Or I had a lie-in or, you know, just the usual things. Um, and I'm trying to remember like a kind of an average teenager day in my life. <laughs> Probably watched t TV on the sofa or something. Um, I would have gone to school at some point. But yeah, let's put the telly in there. And you can see I'm, this is, I'm not making it perfect. I'm just kind of really jotting it down. I remember I used to watch the news before school, which was always really boring, but it's what mum wanted to watch, so. So there we go. Um, 
there we go watch the news um and then another thing that i used to do was divide the day so if that was my my morning then it might be the next section of the day would be divided diagonally and i kept just one page per day to keep it really simple so let's say I love food, can you tell? <laughs> There's my sandwiches. I did always like write down um, my food because it's just always interesting. And also it was quite nice to be able to look back and know what my snacks and everything had been for the past however long. Um, so yeah, there's my lunch and let's say, of course I'm 31 years old now, so I'm not at school, but if I was still at school, I would have, Drawing myself in my school uniform, doing school shiz. There we go. So the other things that might go on here, maybe somebody told like a funny joke. Um, oh, the pressure. When somebody says tell a joke and then I immediately can't think of any jokes, you might pop here like Jason's funny joke. If your friend Jason said a funny joke. Um... So yes, this is a very straightforward way of keeping a, a picture diary. It's just literally drawing what has happened, what you've done during the day. Another more abstract thing that you might like to do is to um, do like a, almost a visual gratitude list. So here we are, just drawing a little sunshine. Grateful for... And then this is where you could just draw the things that you're currently grateful for, what you're loving, what you're happy about. And this can be a good way to tie in like some kind of self-care practices with your picture journal. Um, so what would be on mine? I've got a lovely bunch of flowers that I'm loving, so I'd pop those on there. And yeah, I really hope that I'm getting across that you do not have to be making like a beautiful work of art or spending ages on it because honestly, who has time? Who has time for that rubbish? Not me. So yeah, we've got a nice bowl, a uh, vase of flowers there. Um, maybe you would have had a nice phone call with a friend called Gemma. Um... You might be reading a good book. That's always another nice one to pop on there. Let's see, my screen's just gone off. That's better. I want to be able to keep track of where we are. Um, yes, yeah, so whatever the title of your book is, you could write that on there. It's yeah, it's completely, completely up to you. And this way of just roughly dividing the page helps to keep track of your thoughts, organize it. Um, I remember I had one, it was so funny because it had been Christmas day and I remember my mum set fire to the the roast potatoes. She set fire to the roast potatoes. So I'll, um, <laughs> I'll try and recreate that here. It was so funny. But the reason I remember it is because I wrote it in, I drew it, sorry, in my journal. So yeah, she grabbed the tray and these potatoes were like fully on fire. There's the oven glove because safety first kids. So these roast potatoes were really on fire and my mum was like screaming and she had to run into the garden. Oh, it was brilliant. Um, and another memory from that day. I can't remember what year it would be. It'd be very, very like 2000 and two or something 2001 I don't even know so there's my mum running into the running into the garden with the set fire roast potatoes and another thing that I remember from that day is that my grandpa farted at the Christmas dinner table um and I remember drawing I had like my grandpa always wore these kind of glasses but the funniest thing was like nobody said anything it was like <laughs> He just farted. Um, he farted and nobody was like going to say a word, which made it even funnier to me and my sister. I remember we were sitting like trying not to, trying not to laugh 
<laughs> there we go. So those are some very brief ideas. Your picture diary, it's completely for you. It doesn't have to be good art or bad art. You don't even have to draw like pictures, pictures. You could do like more like a pattern a day. It's all just about having a way to record what's going on, a way to kind of journal, sort of mark your life events um, and keep track of what day it is. Because <laughs> to be honest, this year, knowing what day it is, is a triumph in itself. So yeah, I hope this has been useful. So yes, I'll just... I'll do a little thank you. Oh, there we go. So another thing that could go on my daily thing to my d drawing of the day is that I filmed a workshop for Edinburgh International Book Festival. There we go. I'm happy with that. So this is this is kind of Everything you need to know, completely take it, make it your own. I would absolutely love to see your example if you do start keeping a picture diary. Um, if you do, you can tag me on Instagram. My name is Katie Draws on there. And yeah, it would just be nice to, to see people continuing my tradition. You know what, I think I'm going to start another one this year because it has it was so much fun back in the day when I used to keep one. So yes, thank you very much for taking the time to watch. I hope you enjoy the rest of Edinburgh International Book Festival's offerings and stay safe, be kind to yourself and have a lovely Christmas.